Here is the Year 3 leaderboard on Spelling Shed. Well done to Summer H in 3B for coming first. Well done to Henry P in 3C for coming second. And well done to Oscar DA in 3H for coming third. Those three children will all get two dojo points each. And then everybody that also features in the top three per class will also get one dojo point. Hi Year 3, welcome to Wednesday's Spelling and Handwriting session. Now for our starter activity this morning, we are going to have a go at a fine motor activity. Okay, it's a bit of an exercise with our hands to get our hands and fingers warm and ready for the wonderful handwriting that we're going to do. Now, what I'd like you to do is choose one hand, it doesn't matter if it's your left or your right first of all, and I'd like you to squeeze it as tight as you can together. Then I'm going to play a beat in the background. When you hear the beat, I'd like you to stretch your fingers as far as you can. When you hear the beat again, you're going to squeeze and stretch and squeeze and stretch. Are you ready? Great job. Okay, this time we're going to swap and use the other hand. Okay, are you ready? Great, well done. This time we're going to use both hands, okay? And I'd like you to see, first of all, if you can do them together. Squeeze, then spread out, doing them together. Are you ready? Now, this is a challenge. I'd like you to see if instead of doing them together, like this, I'd like you to see if you could do the opposite. So we're going to squeeze one hand and stretch the other and then we're going to swap every time on the beat. Are you ready? How did you find that challenge? It was a bit tricky. If you didn't quite get it right first, first time, don't worry, go back and have another go, okay? Hopefully your hands are now ready, nice and warm, for our handwriting. So let's get started. Now it's time to celebrate some more amazing work. First of all, well done to Leo in 3H. I can see that you've been working really hard on your handwriting over this past week. I can see you're getting your ascenders nice and tall and your descenders below the line. I can also see that you are focusing really hard on the joins from one letter to the next. So well done. Keep up all your hard work. Also, well done to Grace in 3P for this beautiful handwriting. You're using a pen as well. I can see that you are focusing on exactly where those letters need to be positioned within the line. In this word disappeared, all of your letters fit beautifully in between the lines. Then you've got your nice tall D's for ascending letters and your P's hang nicely below the line. Keep up all the hard work. The year one and two word we're going to look at for today is friend. How can we remember this one? Well, I know, and I'm sure some of you have heard this one before, that if I say friend, like fry end, it helps me to remember the spelling. I miss my best friend. The year three, four word that we're going to look at today is Perhaps. Could we sound this one out? Perhaps. 
perhaps little Mo feels scared. I'm now going to show you how to write both of the words that we've learned today. Then it's your choice whether to practice both or whether to choose one of the words. I'm going to start with the year one and two word, which is friend. Now, before I start writing the word, I'm actually just going to show you how to write the letter F. Because looking at some of the emails, the F is the one that's probably the most confusing. And that's fine. So I'm going to show you how to practice. So our F is both an ascending letter and a descending letter. And then I cross over there. Let's show you that one more time. Okay, it goes above the line and below the line. Now, when I'm joining my F, I don't loop it up and over. I do my body of my F and then I take my pen away and then I cross it. Let's have a go at writing the word friend. So I'm going to start with my F, like I've just shown you. Remember, pen comes away. And then when I cross it, I join that up. So R, I, can you remember what's next? Well done, E. Remember that N needs to go up, down, and then over. And my last letter is an ascending D. Okay, what do I need to do? Well done, I need to dot the I. Friend. Now on to the year three, four word for today, which is perhaps. Okay, I'm going to start with my P. Going down again, it's a descender. P, then over to my E. R, uh, can you remember what letter comes next? Well done, it's H and that's an ascending letter. Then over to my A, my pen still hasn't come away. Back down for a descending letter with my P. And finally over to my S. Perhaps. Start by practising the letter F. Then you can try friend and perhaps. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to spell homophones. What is a homophone? A homophone is one of two or more words that sound the same but have different meanings or spellings. Have a go. Can you think of an example? We're now going to have a go together at matching the homophone words to the pictures. So the first one we've got is flower. So here I've got a flower that might grow in the garden. And over here, I've got flour that I could use to make a cake. Which flour word goes with the picture? Have a little think. Oh, let's see if you were right. So flour that we might grow in the garden is this one. Well done. Let's say the letter names. F-L-O-W-E-R. Then the flour we might use in cooking is this one. F-L-O-U-R. Let's try the next one. Okay, we've got bored. So this boy looks very bored. Here is a chess board. Which board word matches the pictures? Have a think. Well, let's see if you were right. So the boy is feeling Board. Which one am I going to use? Can you tell me the letter names? It's this one. B-O-R-E-D. Board. Then over here we've got chess board, which is this one. B-O-A-R-D. Night. Here we've got the beautiful night sky. And over here we've got a knight in shining armour. Which knight goes with the pictures? Well done. A knight in shining armour has got a K at the beginning. Can you say the letters with me? K-N-I-G-H-T. And then the night sky is nearly the same. It just hasn't got that K at the beginning. 
N-I-G-H-T. The next one is male. Leon is a boy, which means he is male. And we might receive post or an email. Which one matches which picture? OK, let's have a go together. Leon is a boy, which we mean a male. Can you say the letters names with me? M-A-L-E. Then if we receive a letter like mail or an email, it's M-A-I-L. Male. Last one is plane. Here we've got a plane flying in the sky. And here we've got a plain piece of paper. Which plane goes with which picture? Well done. A plain piece of paper. Can you say the letter names with me? P L A I N. Plain. Then we've got a plane that flies in the sky with the letters P L A N E. Plane. On the screen now are a list of all the homophones we have just explored together. What I'd like you to do is use your neatest handwriting to practice all 10 words. Don't forget to send your work in to the year three email at the bottom of the screen now.